Last night was a huge win for advocates of abortion rights and political scientists say Democrats secured wins in decisive victories in major races, even as polling for President Biden doesn't look great. WENY Washington correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us live from the Capitol this evening. Now, Rachel, were last night's elections a good indicator of what might to come in 2024? Good evening, Renata. So the short answer is potentially. We know that before Tuesday, Tuesday's elections that the polls were showing, President Biden is trailing behind former President Donald Trump. Political scientists say Biden is struggling with some of these young voters as well as black and Latino voters. And so we can expect in 2024, which by the way is the first presidential election since the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, we can expect the Democrats to campaign hard on abortion rights to re-energize their voters in 2024. I think the big takeaway from last night's elections that is that the Democrats did really well, really trumpeting the issue of abortion. Last summer, the Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade. Democrats campaigned on abortion rights in the 2022 midterms, which seems to be an effective strategy after Tuesday's elections. In Virginia, voters flipped the Republican majority House and kept Democrats in control of the Senate, essentially blocking the Republican governor from enacting a 15 week abortion ban, a top priority of his. And in Ohio, a state where former President Donald Trump won by eight points in 2020, voters approved of a ballot measure that enshrines the right to an abortion in the state constitution. Ohio used to be a swing state, but it's a deep red state now. And like Kansas, which also put a abortion referendum to the voters, we saw people come out in support of abortion rights. Abortion rights are popular across the country, and this indicates that Democrats were looking to use this as a turnout issue and putting more on, on the ballot in 2024 are likely to be successful. But can abortion access be a winning issue for Democrats in 2024? Before Tuesday's elections, polling shows President Biden trailing behind former President Trump in key swing states, including Michigan and Pennsylvania. Democrats do see this abortion issue as being one that they can continue to use to push their voters out. When you have a right that is taken away and when people anticipate that there might be more state level action to take away these rights and to shorten uh, the terms for abortions, uh, this can be used by Democrats to stimulate turnout. Now, some say these victories for Democrats in yesterday's elections does not mean that the polling results for Biden should be considered irrelevant, uh, even though the Biden campaign, of course, is feeling a little bit more optimistic and uh, enthusiastic following yesterday's election. Their campaign saying in part democracy won and MAGA lost voters vote and polls don't. And Renata, we are now less than a year away from the 2024 presidential election. Renata, back to you.